Last year, Oxford University Press published a book that I wrote with Nick Manson, who's a professor in the Maths Department at Cambridge University. The book's called The Physical World, An Inspirational Tour of Fundamental Physics. It covers the whole of physics at first or second year undergraduate level. Our aim was to explain the fundamental principles of theoretical physics, covering the whole subject in a unified way. And Oxford University Press are promoting it now as the modern equivalent of the Feynman Lectures. The cover of the book looks very attractive and a lot of people have asked me about the origin of the image that's been used. Well, it's actually a frame from an animation that I made in about 1994 or 1995, one of the very first ray traced anim animations that I ever produced. And it was created with a program called Vivid that's no longer supported. It was an old DOS based program where it produced some remarkable images. And the image itself shows the Mandelbrot set on the ground and the two polyhedra are the small stellated dodecahedron and the great dodecahedron, which both have five-fold symmetry and they rotate in the animation around this axis of symmetry. So in the animation they only need to rotate through a, a fifth of a full rotation to give a continuous animation. So the animation only contained about 20 frames, which was very handy in the days when there was nothing more than a floppy disk to store your images on. So this complete animation fitted on a single floppy disk. Although this was one of the very first animations that I ever produced when I was still learning how to use the software and really just playing around, it remains one of my favourite animations. And I was really pleased when Oxford University Press chose it as the cover of the book. There's a lot of material in the book and it covers the whole spectrum of physics. And there's a unifying theme that runs throughout the book, which is the action principle, which is important in um, particle physics and fundamental physics generally, but isn't usually presented in a, in a book of, at this level. So the book starts off with Newtonian physics, and then uh, Maxwell's equations and electromagnetism, to special relativity, and Einstein's theory of gravity, general relativity, and then on to quantum mechanics. After a couple of chapters about quantum mechanics, there's um, applications of quantum mechanics to chemistry and the structure of matter and thermodynamics. And then nuclear and particle physics. And then a chapter about stars, which brings together a lot of the ideas from the earlier chapters, such as thermodynamics and nuclear physics. And a chapter about cosmology. And the final chapter is called the Frontiers of Physics. And that includes a number of topics, such as the interpretation of quantum mechanics, and treating particles as uh, solitons and a brief mention of unifying principles such as string theory. You can find a lot more information about the book on the Oxford University Press website at oup.com forward slash academic forward slash physics or you might like to find the information on Amazon, amazon.co.uk or amazon.com.